guys, it's Robert, and I'm very, very, very excited to start a new series for you guys here. Um, this one's going to be a periodic series. I'm not sure how often I'll be able to do them, but um, in this series I will be unboxing and showing off different subscription boxes. If you aren't familiar with subscription boxes, they are uh, boxes that you order monthly from different companies. They're usually about this size, and they come with a variety of um, small items and samples related to whatever it is that you ordered. In this um, episode, I am unboxing a Scosh box. Scosh box provides um, boxes that have Japanese things, so Japanese candies, um, little like accessories and trinkets and stuff like that, and Japanese foods. And I thought that this would be one that you guys would be really interested in. So I'm going to go through, and um, even more than just reviewing, I'm going to be just doing a little show and tell of all the different objects inside, and I will be actually giving one away. My awesome friends over at Scoshbox donated a second box for me to give to one of you lucky viewers, so stay tuned uh, to the end of the video to find out how you can win what I'm unboxing today. Okay, so let's break into this puppy. There's just one line of tape here to undo, so... This is the September 2013 Scosh box. Oh, awesome. So it looks like we get a description of all the different stuff in the box. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. I'm excited. Let's put this up to the side. See if we can figure out what this is. I think this is the fried shoyu rice cracker, which in Japanese is that? I don't know what it's. Ageichi senbei or something. some of the stuff and then I'll probably sample some of it too. What is this thing? Japanese always have such cute packaging. So this must be... Um, puff corn snack cheese flavor? Maybe. My Suki bean cake. What did I say to that? I love the crinkly sound of these packages. Got a little 
lollipop here. This must be ooh, pop candy soda. So soda flavored lollipop, non cola, or I don't know, just ram ramune, ramune. Um, I'm guessing this one is a uh, third one. school. Some people used to bring them in their lunches. Mm. They're really good. It's like, um, it's not too super sweet. It really kind of reminds me of like Nutella, but without the hazelnut. Just that kind of texture and that kind of not super sweet. beer because that sounds like a delicious bar snack. I have no idea what all the Japanese says on the back, but I love their illustrations. It's like a bowling pin. And uh, I don't know what it's. Some kind of comic strip. And the last thing here is 
is this? Soft type eraser. Now, let's see. Is there anything about the eraser? The Japanese eraser. This is a popular demand item. I've heard that for some reason, Japanese erasers are like amazing. So, I'm excited to try this out and see what the hype is all about. So yeah, that's the contents of the scotch, the scotch box. We've got the koala march, the crunky chocolates, shoei rice crackers, the umaibo corn snack, matcha candy, kit jelly, pop candy soda, the manju bean cake, the milk candy, the ichigo milk candy, fuji yahon pie. Kakino, Kakino Tane. I'm probably butchering all these rice crackers and Kashikomo eraser. So, let's try a few of these out. Okay, so let's try. Um, so, I already had one of these koala biscuits and it was delicious. I'm really interested in this. This was the puffed corn snack cheese flavor. Oh, interesting. You know, I didn't exactly know what to expect, but this was not quite it. It essentially looks like a giant Cheeto. See how it tastes, I'll try not to crunch it right by the ear. Oh my god. This is so good. It, it seriously tastes like a giant Cheeto, but a little bit different. It's kind of hard to explain. I think if you've ever had like Asian candy, specifically Japanese candy or junk food before, there's kind of like a just distinctly, you know, Asian taste to it that isn't the same as American junk food. Like a little more savory and it has, I think it's just a difference in the type of ingredients to use, but oh my gosh. This thing is absolutely delicious. It's just one stick too. I feel like if it was in America, these would be served. Um, like in a giant bag full of like a million of these and one serving size would be like 15 
it's uh, a lot less flaky than like the puff puff corn snack. It's very much like a like a cookie or like a pie crust or something. very sweet, but it's definitely not like a savory snack. It's just kind of very lightly sweet. break it in half again, next to the ear, next to your ear, because it made a pretty cool sound when I did that. It's got a filling in there, actually. You can see. It's tasty. Mm-hmm. So it's definitely, you can, I wasn't really expecting it to be, but it's very much a bean cake. It's kind of like a bean paste inside, which is um, actually very delicious and semi-sweet. I think this one might be actually the milk or plain one. Not getting any distinct flavors from it, except for delicious. Are you guys jealous yet? You should be. Okay. Like I said, I think I'm gonna save these bad boys for when I can sit down and get back and have a beer. I don't want to open them because I'm not sure when that's gonna be. I don't want them to go bad. I think I'll probably excuse me. I'll probably save the hard candies for another time. It's going to take a while to get through, and by another time I mean as soon as I turn this recording off and finish my giant Cheeto stick. Eraser, set that aside for now. Let's try some chocolate. Now, the Scotch box is $12 a month, and that includes um, shipping. So $12 flat fee per month. You can cancel it anytime you want. Start it anytime you want. Um, and as far as I know, they only ship to the United States. Unless they have upgraded that since then. But I believe they're a relatively new company. So... Okay, this chocolate is a little bit melty because it's really hot here. But this essentially looks like a, like a crunch bar. So I'm going to try to get some of this out. It might be a little messy. Hmm. Yep, it's like a crunch bar, but like ultra crunchy. It's very good. Again, unlike a lot of these things, it's sweet but not cloying. You know, it's like just the right amount of sweet. It doesn't like actually hurt your tongue when you eat it. Oh, there goes that one. I will save the lollipop for another time. Looks like it's got a little duck or some bird on 
There. It's cute. Let's try out this hard jelly with sugar cutting. It feels pretty cool. It's, as you can see, I'm pushing pretty hard, so it's definitely um, pretty solid, but it is a little bit squishy. It's got this texture of the sugar coating on the outside. Let's take a bite. Mmm, I like that. I'm a sucker for like fruit snacks and stuff like that. It's not super chewy. I really like the consistency of it. It's interesting and, and pretty different from what I'm used to. Thumbs up for that one. Now that I've been a huge pig, let's move on to the last item. <laughs> this is the um, fried showy rice cracker. This, this I've had something similar to before. This one's got that kind of classic savory umami taste to it. A little bit of just a tiny hint of sweetness on the outside, but it's very crunchy. By far the crunchiest of the items in terms of mm, like almost like a chip or something like that. Yeah, very good though. Let's actually, let's try out this eraser. I'm actually interested to know what it's all about. <laughs> My hands are all oily from all these awesome snacks, so <laughs> it's actually a little hard to get this. Okay, so I took a break and actually uh, cut open the packaging on this because my hands were just too oily. <laughs> so, let's check out. You have to say. There you have it, folks. Japanese eraser. Scotchbox.com is where you can find your very own Scotchbox. And if you guys are interested in winning the uh, Scotchbox that I got sent extra, 
um, it should be, I think, the same box that I have here. So if you're interested in winning that, all you have to do is leave a comment letting me know which item of the ones that I showed uh, you would be the most excited about and why. So just leave a comment telling me which item you're most excited for and why, and then sometime next week I will go ahead and randomize all of those uh, entries and randomly draw one winner and I'll send it out to you. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Also, if you feel like it, let me know what you thought of the unboxing in general. Anything you'd like to see in the future with other boxes. Um, I have another one coming up. I think my next one should be the Cloud9 box, so I'm very excited for that. But, again, check out uh, scotchbox.com.